Hi, this is Joe McNally for Adorama TV, and in this segment, I'm going to talk to you about making something out of nothing, taking a bad location, and still getting a worthwhile photograph. Adorama TV presents Photo on the Go with Joe McNally, where you'll go behind the scenes to see how great photos are made. So initially, looking at this location, there wasn't much there. I mean, the city of Dubai was in the far distance, but there was dust and hot tarmac and no shade and man it's the kind of location you just your shoulders slump you know but i had light stands cameras lenses so what do you do you it's almost like carving you know you, you look at this whole sort of ugly turkey let's say and you carve something nice out of it so uh that's what we did we had the city of dubai back in here I referenced this not too long ago on my blog, which was kind of a, a fun post, uh, which is joemcnally.com backslash blog. And lots of sand and desert, and we we're in the Dubai Velodrome, which is very generous description. And we had a, a really great rider on the bike, you know, and here we go. And he's there set up, ready to, um, not go anywhere. He has to be stationary. So I frame up with a 2470 millimeter lens and our first assistant in the studio, Mike Callie, is sitting back here holding on to the bicycle, okay, stabilizing him. So what we did was we put two stands here, here, and a tri-flash on each. So we have three light sources. They're SB speed lights, a mix of 900s and 910s, okay? Three lights a piece because I've got high, high, hard sun. I'm fighting back against that, you know? I think what we ended up with was a, a collective f-stop of f22, I believe. Lots of depth of field. I wanted to retain sharpness back to the city. And then the activity, the gesture of the picture, he can't just be on the bike not going anywhere. We decided to throw water at him. And the position of the lights are important there because they are slightly behind the plane of where the wheels of the bike are. In other words, if I'm the bicyclist right here and say my nose is 12 o'clock, the lights are at one o'clock and five o'clock. In other words, slightly behind the plane of the rider. That gives the capacity for the lights to backlight and make the, the actual flying water sparkle a little bit. Hi, Joe McNally here for Adorama. Be sure to check out Adorama's latest contest to win prizes. So I'm down low here, 2470 millimeter lens. Camera angle is right here. I have a commander flash on the camera. It's sending the signal to both groups of lights. All six lights go at once. I get 1 25th of a second, 1 1 25th at F22. Now, <laughs> Poor Callie is about to get wet because there's two guys, John and Ali, over here, okay? And they are throwing water at the rider. So the water is coming this way and spraying out that way. And there's a slight bit of movement to the water at 125th of a second. You don't get absolute crystal clear frozen water which was okay because the rider is stopped. He's not going anywhere. And I opted in this instance, instead of going for freezing water at a very high shutter speed and losing depth of field, I went for a slightly lower shutter speed and lots of depth of field because I wanted to retain one of the most famous skylines in the world. The Burj Khalifa is back there and it is the tallest building in the world. I have some familiarity with that building. Anyway, that was the solution right in here. So, you know, key pieces of equipment here, you know, uh, the D4 camera, 2470 millimeter lens, couple of stands, the tri-flashes. The tri-flashes are a uh, very, very important piece, small but important piece of what we travel with all the time because I do a lot of ganging of speed lights to gain a little bit of power and efficiency. But ultimately, the key ingredient here was water. This is Joe McNally for Adorama TV, talking to you in this segment about getting the most out of your location. Do you want 
great looking prints at low cost, be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.